Sitting next to the orange glow of a crackling fire, Felix Leon glanced over his shoulder. Somewhere far off in the woods, a twig crunched softly. The flames danced around the singed wood, casting shadows over his face. Sap from inside the wood popped, bringing Felix's attention back to the fire. He had set up his camp earlier that afternoon. The red hiking bag he had carried with him held everything he would need for a few days. The miniature one-person tent had been set up only a few feet away. The rest of the bag was taken up by small rations of food, water, and supplies. Strapped to his right leg, Felix carried a large survival knife with a small storage area in the handle. It held bandages, string, ointment, and matches. Felix now fondled the hilt of the knife with his right hand as he stared into the flickering flames. Mesmerized by the glow, he concentrated on the woods around him. Another soft crunch echoed through the trees. Someone, or something, was moving. For the past few days, something had been on his trail. Felix did not know what or who it was. So far, he had done his best to stay ahead of whatever it was. But tonight, it had caught up. Now, it lurked in the darkness just out of sight. He felt the overbearing sense that he was being watched. Deep out in the darkness, he was being hunted. He felt certain of this. Dead leaves crunched in the distance. Suddenly the noise ceased. The silence was somehow more discomforting. Next to him, the fire began to slowly dwindle. Felix did not place on another log. He wanted the wood to collapse to nothing but embers. Deep in the wilderness, an owl began to call. It echoed through the trees, the sound so amplified it seemed as if it were perched above him. The wind rustled through the forest, causing the woods to howl as if it were alive. All matters of sounds poured from the darkness that surrounded his camp. Even with all this noise, he was able to hear the soft crunching of footsteps. What the steps belonged to, he could not tell. They were closer now. It would only be a matter of time before he came face to face with his hunter. Felix's fire began to die as the wood collapsed in on itself. The remaining pieces of wood turned into spectacular glowing orbs. Felix removed the knife from its sheath and began to poke at the embers. He moved them around until their glow became dull. Now the darkness began to engulf him. He embraced it, standing up tall and confident. Giving his eyes a moment to adjust, he stared into the woods, poised and ready. He was not afraid. Whatever was out there, he would meet inside the dark abyss. If you liked that video, don't forget to hit the thumbs up button and don't forget to subscribe. If you want to learn more about me and my writing, head to evanbondauthor.com. I'll leave a link in the description below, as well as my social media accounts. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.